Hello and welcome to Yoga Vidya practice video. Carlotta and Sukadev welcome you to variations of the plow. Plow position, halasana, usually comes after shoulder stand. Carlotta will demonstrate more advanced variations and very basic variations, even variations which less flexible people or students with back problems can do. Usually you do plow position from shoulder stand. In shoulder stand you come from the lying position up towards the shoulder stand and you hold it for a while. Normally you hold the shoulder stand for at least one to three minutes before going to plow. After you've done the shoulder stand you can come to the plow position. First you lower one rack, exhale Inhale, leg up, exhale, other leg, and inhale, leg up. Then with the exhalation, you lower both legs. And now first, Carlotta will demonstrate the basic posture. You stretch out your arms, you either put your palms on the floor, or you interlock your fingers. Toes point towards your head, legs are straight, shoulders away from your ears and you breathe very deeply. If your feet do not touch the floor, you can also use a pillow, a pillow underneath the toes. That way the stretch is a little less in your back. Or if even this is difficult, then you use a chair. Of course, normally you would have the chair ready beforehand or you have a yoga teacher who is nice enough to put the chair under your feet. In that way, even people with minor back problems can practice the plow and then you also try to keep your back straight while being in the plow. Another possibility is you keep your knees bent and you keep your knees on the forehead. For this you don't need the chair anymore. Instead of keeping your hands on the floor, you can also put your hands on your back. This is a very relaxing and soothing posture, relaxing for your back and your hips. And at the same time, it is an inverted posture where the blood supply can come back to your heart and the thyroid gland and your head get good circulation of blood. And of course, energy goes into your throat, the Vishuddha Chakra. Now, some more advanced variation. Carlotta will come back to the basic posture of the plow with straight legs and palms folded. Instead of keeping your hands interlocked, you can also go put your hands to your feet and grasp hold of your feet and put the toes onto your palms. You keep your heels closed and then you pull your toes towards your head, separating your elbows. Put the elbows towards the sides and in that way you pull your toes as much towards your forehead as you can. Another possibility, you stretch out your legs and then you put your legs apart as far as you can. If possible, you put even the, the soles of your feet on the floor, or at least the, side, the inside of the soles of your feet. Another possibility, you stretch out your legs again, and you put your legs together. Again, you put your hands either on your back or behind your back. And now you walk with your feet towards the right side. Then you bend your knees and you put your knees next to your ear on the floor. 
Then you stretch out your legs and you go with your feet towards the other side. You bend your knees and you put your knees next to your other ear. You can stretch out your legs again. Go back to the center. Now you bend both legs and put your knees to the right and to the left of your ear. You can also put your lower arms behind your knees and interlock your fingers behind your head. Even more advanced, you stretch out your legs again. You keep your knees closed and you bend your knees behind your head trying to put the closed knees behind your head. Usually you, you will support your back again and you breathe deeply. Of course, you never force into the posture, especially not in plow pose. After plow pose, you usually come back to the shoulder stand. After shoulder stand, you come to the lying position and then to the fish position, which we'll demonstrate another time. Carlotta and Sukadev, thank you for watching and we hope you find a posture, a variation of the plow position Halasana, which will suit your yoga practice. All the best, lots of energy and inspiration with yoga. Have a wonderful day. More information on our internet pages www.yoga-vidya.org